G'day, Bills. I touch my wires. I got the, uh, I had to get the blue wires off the PFC cap tank because they were the thickest, best ones I had. So to get, in order to get these aside, I went to the terminal posts. I actually um, stuck the soldering, in, the soldering line in the corner and jammed it in. I just kept sticking this in until it flowed down and down and down and down and down. So that's pretty good. They all soldered on quite nicely. It worked out a lot better than I thought. I got maybe a. Uh, yeah, I could do that. All that's going to do is just um, insulate it so it doesn't short out and anything. Might need something like an ice egg container lid because it'll be flexible so the lid can go on easy. That's too big. Because I want the uh, inside of these hitting against here. My negative post is going to be right there and it's going to hit and short out. So I'm going to have to make some good insulation material there. But damn, it's coming on quite nicely. And I'll tuck in between here and take up the gaps. This excess, excess cable is low impedance, so it's not going to, um, you might get much losses through these little bits of cable. Okay, that's going to go there. Now I'll stick in there like that. Go down in there. I'm going to put holes in the bottom of the battery, ba battery box. Go from the bottom, put a screw on the bottom. Cut those, to, uh, measure them out, cut them, cut them four of them to length. And I'll sit inside there and I'll just tap some pilot, draw some pilot holes and screw these in. This will be done. It's worked out quite well. I'm happy with it. That's the end result. Get a negative on negative, positive on positive. How good's that? Virtually lead free except for terminal posts. But then they're going to do no one any harm sitting there. Like, um, they're not letting off any uh, nasties like that. So let's just call it a lead free car battery and <laughs> leave it at that. Should have shaved some of the partitions off them inside this lid. Yeah, maybe I still could, you know. Doesn't look too bad though, it's better than nothing. That's one wonky ass bloody battery. Might have to start shaving the partitions out of the lid. I'll have to do that, I think. So it goes on flatter because the bolt's hitting it right there. Right on the bloody where this middle partition is. Anyway, let's give it a test. She's installed in here, let's give it a capacitor back a test. Ah, oh, bad connection! It's not a Commodore standard battery, the post is supposed to be over here, but it's a little difficult to get it here. Alright. Ah, oh, you bugger. Alright, I'm going to have to try and get those terminals to connect on properly. Do a good shaped terminal post. Hey! Check that out! Plenty of starting power! And no matter what I did in this car, the bloody immobilizer still wants to play up! Friggin' thing! It's got, it's got the most dodgiest bloody immobilizer. It pisses me off. I just cannot get it to bloody want to run the car. It's got a stupid problem. I ran over a bit of a, a piece of wood and a punch of this weak ass tyre. Bang! Starts it, look at that, eh? With an aftermarket um, permanent magnet starter motor, it's pretty easy on those capacitors. It doesn't use much power. I've had to put the terminal upside down. Because these terminal posts are pretty old school size. You can bolt the things onto the side with these older terminal posts. There we are. Our ESM is done. Yeah. Bit of wood went right through there on the other side in the back. Too easily punched those tyres. Let's finish it off. I won't do too much. Tire anyway. Let's go straight back and let's see if we put the camo on it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, eh? Before the immobilizer stops up again. Yeah, it's holding on now, isn't it? Yeah, 
that's because I bypass the immobiliser. Stupid thing. You know, they'll make it so you can't override them for a reason, but for a bush bomb, if you just want to stay going and work normal in that, it's not that um, easy. So, this car is actually being sold too. The, um, Guy, the guy who's taken the red VR is taking this as well because he wants the engine. So I looked after this engine pretty good. I didn't fly, but I changed the oil and the filter on it. This thing is um, good to go in that car when he gets it. This will be a bloody good, um, be a good car with this engine, isn't it? Even the air conditioning still works in this bloody thing. <laughs> That's R12 for you. There you go, ESM works good. It's a shame because the battery posts are on this side, not on this side. I could probably make an adapter to go from there to there as well, but that'd be too much bulky in there. If only this thing was an inch higher, it'd be nice. I'll try and keep more car batteries and cut them up so they got more room. Looks like crap, but it works. Anyway, works quite well. Thanks for watching.